While there are plenty of strong swimmers on the ITU circuit, there's one athlete in particular who consistently stands out in the water. Varga, who has led 23 times out in the water in WTS events, more than anybody else, you won't be surprised to learn. Richard Varga of Slovakia, affectionately known as the Fish, has been the dominant swimmer in triathlon for the last 10 years. He competed at both the London and Rio Olympic Games and is a four-time aquathlon world champion, making him Slovakia's most successful triathlete ever. We sat down with Richard to gain some valuable insight into his well-honed swim technique and tagged along to an indoor training session to get a clear view of a master at work. So let's get the inside verdict from the man himself. For me, the, the, the important thing from the start to have as high as possible body position. So my, my, my shoulder blades is going up and, and my, my chin is going going to the like uh, inside so I'm um, my body uh, the body is really high my shoulders is high and then also also my core has to be tight on the from the start and and as tall as possible so I'm I'm imagining myself as, as a wood on the on, in the water so I'm just trying to float in and swing in the arms through so I just uh, pushing the water behind me. So what I'm trying to do with the briefing is, is uh, obviously briefing to the water and inhale uh, half face uh, to be out of the water and half face into the water. So I don't have to go really, really far with, with my head, as, as you can see. So it's really efficient. And when I'm trying to check uh, my, uh, where, is the, where is the boy, I, I usually change, change the, uh, the side. So maybe after each eight, I'm trying to change the side. Or when I feel like, okay, my, my left side is tired, I start feel on the right side. Because you, sometimes you have people on the right and sometimes you have people on the left. So you wanna know where they are, what is happening in, a, in the field. So I sometimes swim where, uh, breathing where the people are when other side there is nobody, I, I don't breathe there. Or, or if someone is gonna fight me, I'm trying to breathe on the other side. So, so I'm not concentrate on on him. I'm concentrate on myself. That's that's a good, uh, I think, uh, advice. That if someone trying to swim next to you and slow you down and this stuff, uh, try to just uh, concentrate on yourself and 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 you will see what what will happen. I a little bit have uh, my typicals holding the stroke really tight, quite tight. It's usually, uh, as you say, like you have, have, have to have a little bit open uh, arm so you have a bigger sp uh, space for the, for the water. But I feel the, the most powerful this way when I, when I have close. So my, my forearm, uh, forearm muscles is tense, so from the from straight away, I can I can grab the water. That's what I'm trying always, like grabbing the water as much as possible from the from the start of the of the stroke. You, I used to use my, much more uh, much more kicks, stronger kicks, but now it's a little bit less, and I think it's more efficient for the for the open water swimming, especially triathlon. Uh, where you don't want to waste so much energy. So that's, that's why I'm trying to have strong core and swimming from the hips that I don't need to that much. The, the, the legs is really important for the rhythm, uh, to keep the, the, the rhythm of the, of the stroke. As much as, as it's moving you as much forward, it's like keeping you balanced in the water as high as possible, but also the rhythm. I did some, some swimming in the Idle School and I really like it because uh, on the bottom you can have a mirror and you can, you can have a straight, straight away feedback uh, what you're doing. Because usually when you're swimming you, you don't really see, maybe sometimes you, you see your shadow on the bottom of the pool, 
but uh, to see the mirror is exactly how where you're pushing the arm is, is really nice to have the, the straightaway feedback what you usually don't have uh, is a different feedback like when you're swimming right I uh, prefer the pontoon start because I was a, a former swimmer so for me it's really like starting from the from the blocks on the pool so that's what I take usually advantage like a uh, good good start good uh, few waves and then that's what I'm trying to do uh, to do like first 20 stroke just without briefing just get uh, get really high speed and get rid of the people next to me which they usually try to get on my hips or uh, try to swim with me as long as possible and my goal is always to be as fast as possible to go front of them so they, they don't use my advantage of, the, of, my, of my swimming and of my speed so that's very important that uh, they don't use in my energy so what I'm trying to do uh, to get on the first boy as, as on the front as possible because uh, as, a, as a former swimmer I like to have a clean water and I don't like when, when I have to battle with someone uh, if, if there is someone in front of me and it's, um, I can be in his legs, it's, it's okay, but I don't want to fight with anyone, so that's my difference. And yeah, this is, this is the same strategy for sprint or Olympic for me, to get on the front and, and settle my pace. And obviously, if, if, there is a, if we go Olympic distance, well, we, we try to, to after, after the first lap, go, go hard again. So bit, because, because bit, between, the, uh, between the jumps out of the water and, and going to the second round, there is usually can, can get some split because people have to go, go up and it's, it's quite, uh, you, you're changing a position, body position on the vertical, which is quite hard for the lactate and, and you can feel it's, it's really a little bit weird. And so this is what I sometimes uh, I'm trying in the training, like do some hard stuff. Uh, some lactate threshold above and then go out of the water and jump again so so I really uh, trying to stimulate uh, simulate the the thing for the race yeah it's always the same to keep once it is the fitness the mileage but the second I'm, I'm doing lots of drills to to make sure that that I am efficient that I don't have to spend that much time in the, in the water and, and training less so I can my time and my energy to put uh, on other disciplines where I can want to more improve but with the swimming I'm, I'm trying to be uh, efficient with the energy and time in the training so that's why I'm using lots of uh, technique to, to hold the, the, my current form you know. <laughs>